Hello, welcome to my first tutorial on Bryce. I've been working with Bryce for quite a while and uh, I can say that it's a very effective program for creating realistic terrain scenes and uh, many other things. Bryce has the advantage of being capable of extreme photorealism without a great deal of effort, especially in uh, closed indoor scenes. The outdoor scenes require a little bit of tweaking, but uh, today we're going to be modeling, doing some just some basic modeling uh, in Bryce. And I'm going to show you how to make a decorative street lamp, uh, the kind you'd find on a, a street. This particular street lamp that I'm going to be designing, I got the inspiration from uh, in Korea. First off, I'm going to delete my uh, ground level here, ground plane, because it won't serve to help me in the initial modeling process. Before I really get started, what I'd like to uh, say is, uh, well, I'd like to uh, just give you a few, a little bit of a heads up here about Bryce. First off, the kind of modeling that I'm doing here generally is not done a lot in Bryce. Bryce is quite capable. Bryce is quite capable of lots of different kinds of modeling, but oftentimes, uh, well, for example, Bryce, one of Bryce's drawbacks is that you can't really do point edit modeling. For example, moving individual vertices. Bryce uh, uses a series of brushes and a terrain editor to accomplish any morphing that goes on, but you can't do any direct morphing from the actual viewing screen. So to start out here, just create this lamp, street lamp, I'm going to first create a cylinder. Uh, all my objects are being brought in at zero, zero, zero here. So this is, I'm going to keep them there for this. I'm going to click on A, and I'm going to bring up the uh, object attributes window. And what I want to do here is I want to narrow this down. Nah, I just go to three. I'll work with even numbers so it is uh, a lot easier to remember. Okay, now that's going to give me a very mm, pretty good sized cylinder. Up here, I'm going to lengthen it out about right to there. Okay, this is going to be the base of my street lamp. As you can see, it's just a flat, flat tube. Okay. Uh, secondly, and all I'm doing here is just using the standard stock shapes. The purpose of this tutorial is just to show you that you can create it through just standard shapes and some careful editing. You can create some really interesting and very attractive objects. Okay, I'm going to create another cylinder. This is going to be uh, as a, a sleeve, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Okay, I'm going to go to 3.4 and 3.4. Okay, this is just a, a little sleeve, and I'll have to narrow this down to 2. Okay, that's just about perfect. So, uh, I'm going to drop that down because that's going to exist around the base. If I don't want to just slide it down, I can simply hit the arrow and it takes it right to the bottom, which is a nice feature. I'm going to copy this. Control C. First, let me render it here and let me look at it. Okay. Uh, from here, it looks like it's acting just about how I want it to. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to bring the other one up top here to the top of my cylinder. Yeah, that didn't work right. Okay. Down just a bit. There we go. Okay. Now, I want to create a base, so I'm going to create another cylinder. Oops, I don't want that. Let's go back up here to the stock one and create another cylinder. 
Now on the Y, I just want to make this 0.5. Gives me eh, even less than that really. Point point three. How about that? Okay, that's about right. Now for the X and Y. I'm going to go 4. I'm just kind of shooting in the dark here and seeing it a little bit bigger than that. Seeing what it gives me. Uh, go to 10. 10. That looks a little bit better. Now I'm going to put it down on the ground. And it's not going all the way down. So, okay. Now. See where that goes. Okay. Let's go down just a bit. Didn't want to do that. Okay. So if I look under okay, that's that's exactly right. Okay. Now basically I have the base all set up here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tab off. Now the camera's selected. I'm going to hit tab again and it selects the very first item I created. I'm going to hold down the shift key and hit tab and it will select everything I've got right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them all a texture and I want to go to metals, not automotive, common. And I'm going to select this dark bronze orb. And that's going to apply the material to everything. And so when we render it, you can see it's giving it a bronze look. I'm not going to let it anti alias or anything for the sake of time. Now, I don't want to group these together yet because I have to create a few more things. Okay, what I'm going to do is hit Control C and Control V. I'm going to copy this tool, which creates, of course, a copy. And then I'm going to shrink it way down, about right to there. And I'm going to bring it up to where it sits right on top here. That's just about the height I want. Now, I don't want... This is going to be glass. So, uh, I want to go to, to select glass, colored, and I like this color right here it gives it a good kind of a ominous glow. So now a quick render will show us that we have a glass top on it there. It's starting to be a real pretty street lamp. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I need to create a top for this lamp. And as I recall from memory, it was look like a symbol, so like the kind you play on the drums, not a symbol like a ancient hieroglyphic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to that's okay. I may have to take it down a little bit. Alright, once I have that here, I'm going to create well here first off, I'm going to designate this as positive. I'm applying a positive attribute to it. Now I'm creating another one of these and I'm going to whoops, I don't want to do that. Okay. I'm going to go here to edit and instead of grabbing a particular arm here, I'm just going to grab the middle and it will blow way up there. Now this is just about the place I want it, I think. Alright, so it's intersecting that. Now I can go through, tab through, select that, hold down, and it'll select them both. First, though, I have to give this a negative value. Almost forgot. So, once this has a positive value and this has a negative value, and I don't want to transfer that material, you can select them both and watch what happens by grouping them. And you can't see anything here, but take a look up here. Let's render it. Okay. All right. 
Now we have a nice little top. Might be a little too big. I don't know. Uh, okay. So we're going to go back. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit C. This completes the process, gets rid of the big ball, and there we go. Now I can go in here and change the attributes of it, and I'm just going to take 10 off. 66. 68. And 76. Oops. Okay, that's giving me a little bit better. There we go. Now, if I rotate this around to the top, I want to make sure my top is not coming through there, and it's fine. Okay, so it looks good so far. All right. Now, I want to give this the same material that I gave this, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to go in here and copy this, hit copy, this is the easy way, and just go back here and hit paste, paste it right on there. So now, our whole lamp is beginning to look good. Okay. Now, and we can adjust this at any time. I might want to make this just a tad bit smaller. In fact, I think I'll do that right now. Sometimes modeling is just kind of shooting in the dark and seeing where you can get it. I'm going to go down another, let's see, about 46. Now I better go 56. 56. 58 and 56. Okay. So that looks a little bit better, I think. Yeah. Okay. So now, quick spot render. It's looking pretty good. Now, what I want to do is at this point, I'm going to create. Now, what I want to do here is I'm coming in here and I'm going to create this at 0.5. Okay. Now, along the z-axis, I'm going to go 0.5 again. Now, that's going to give me just the exact... just the exact width that I need. And I'm going to slide this out with the editor first and bring it up. It's a little too big, so I'm going to bring it down. Kind of side it in. Okay, that's working fine. That's good. Now, I'm going to bring it out along the z-axis. And I'm going to rotate too much. Okay. Need to bring it back in. Almost close to there. Okay. Alright, now this is the fun part. Alright. 